Hello again, everyone, and welcome to American Idioms, Part 5. This is the fifth video in my American Idiom series, and like the others, I'll be presenting five more idioms to you, number 21 through 25. But first, I'll give you the chance to guess their meanings, then I'll explain them to you using other examples. Okay, are you ready? Here we go, number 21. The example is, I want to help my friend fix his car this weekend, but I have a lot on my plate right now, so I probably won't be able to assist him. Can you guess the meaning? And the answer here is C, to have a lot of work or tasks to do. And in our example, this is what the person is talking about. He wants to help his friend fix his car, but he has a lot on his plate right now, which means he has a lot of things that he has to do. So he's not going to be able to help his friend. All right, that's what to have a lot on your plate means, to have a lot of things to do. Think about a big meal with many things to eat. All right, let's look at another example. My uncle owns and runs his own construction company, so he usually has a lot on his plate during the summer months. In this example, it describes how a person's uncle has a lot on his plate, meaning he has a lot of things that he has to do, especially during the summer months when construction is probably the most busy. So, to have a lot on your plate means that you have many things to do, all right, or a lot of things to do. All right, number 22. The example is, working over 80 hours a week is all in a day's work for most doctors. Can you guess the meaning? If you chose B to do something typical or expected, then you are correct. In our example, the doctors work over 80 hours a week, which might not be a typical thing for the average person. But a doctor, they work like this almost every week. That's all in a day's work. That's how they work. They're expected to work these kind of hours. All right, here's another example. Every class in primary school has its share of students who are difficult to teach, but to their teachers, it's all in a day's work. So like our last example about the doctors working 80 hours a week, which usually the average person doesn't do, teachers deal with and teach difficult students. Let's say that's part of their job. It's all in a day's work for them. It's a typical thing and they're expected to teach that way. So even though it's hard for the average person, it's all in a day's work for a teacher. Now for idiom number 23. And the example is, my brother always gets the lion's share of dessert after dinner because he is my mom's favorite child. Can you guess the meaning? If you guess C, to get the largest amount of something, you are correct. And in our example, it talks about how the person's brother gets the lion's share, gets the largest portion of dessert. Okay, and in this case, it's because he was the favorite of his mom. But the lion's share of something is the greatest or largest amount of something. Here's another example. She did the most work on our last project, so she deserves the lion's share of the credit for its success. In this example, we see how the person deserved the largest share of the credit. All right, so the lion's share is the greatest amount. So most of the credit should go to the girl in this example, 
That is the lion's share. Got it? Okay, here's number 24. And the example is, the news reporter asked questions about the candidate's past, which opened a can of worms for him, because now everyone is asking him about it, and they are finding many bad things there. Can you guess the meaning? The answer here is B, to inadvertently create more problems about something. And that's what to open a can of worms means. In our example, the reporter was just asking questions about his past, and that opened it up to many more questions about his past. So that's, it's like a can of worms. You open it up, and what happens? Many worms come out all over the place, right? And that's exactly what's happened here. The reporter was asking questions about his past, and many more questions came up, and then everybody was talking about it. And that's what to open a can of worms means. So let's look at another example. I have an old car and it's running well. And I'm afraid that if I have a mechanic check its engine, I'll be opening a can of worms. All right, same idea here. The person is afraid to let the mechanic look at it because once he does, because it's an old car, He's going to find more problems. It's like opening a can of worms. You open it up, there's worms everywhere. There will be problems everywhere. And that's what it means. All right, here's the final idiom, number 25. And the example is, my sister is supposed to help my mom around the house, but she always weasels out of her duties with the housework, so I end up helping her instead. Can you guess the meaning? The answer here is A, to avoid doing something you are responsible for. And in our example, the person's sister was supposed to help their mom around the house, but according to the example, she always gets out of it. She always avoids doing it. She weasels out of doing these duties. So, this is what to weasel out means, to avoid doing something you're supposed to do. And here's another example. I'm required to work on the weekends once a month, but my colleagues at work are able to weasel out of this responsibility somehow every month. Hmm. So we see the same kind of a thing where people are supposed to work like this person is required to. So I imagine that his colleagues are required to also, but they avoid doing it. They weasel out of it each month. You see how it works? That's all for this video. I hope you're enjoying these videos. There will be more coming in this series. Thanks again for subscribing everyone. Please share this video. And like I always say, keep practicing. See you next time.